Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rick and this is Directed Tech. Today I am excited I get to bring you another leak. I just saw this and thought I need to make a video really quick. Now, there is new information on what I can pretty safely say is now confirmed to be the Bamboo Lab H2S. We're going to try and break that down a little bit. This is slightly confusing to me, but I just ran across an article from Tom's Hardware. It's only been out for about five hours, and they have, I don't think they cracked it. I'm sure it was probably somebody else, but uh, they were the ones that I first saw it reported. Let's take a look. I'm going to switch over here to my desktop. A manual for the cutter module was found online that has references to the Bamboo Lab H2S along with the Bamboo Lab H2D. Now, like I said, we're going to jump into that a little more here in just a second, but I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for everything that you need, whether that's PCB fabrication, prototyping, assembly, their instant quote system will let you define your project and get a quote instantly. They are also experts in CNC manufacturing and 3D printing. So whatever your project calls for, you can count on PCB Way to come through. They have been operating for over 11 years and they are unstoppable. Oh, and while you're there, make sure you check out the PCB Way community. There are tons of projects that you can build yourself utilizing the expertise from other makers in the community. PCB Way, thank you for sponsoring today's video. Okay, now let's get into the meat of this. We're going to switch back over here to the desktop. I'm going to pull that up. So let's take a look and see what they have found here. There is on the Bamboo Lab Wiki site, they have the manual uh, for the cutter module. And Looks like they made a little mistake and maybe they released the wrong version, but they show the cutting module here on the H2S. Now, I went over here to Reddit and found a better version of this graphic. And let's take a look. So if you know, um, you've probably seen the reviews. When the Bamboo Lab H2D came out, a little bit controversial because the H stands for hybrid, the D stands for dual. Um, being a hybrid system, we have not only the 3D printer, but we have the laser cutter, um, and then they have this pen module, which has a vinyl cutter and the pens that you can put in it. So what we have here in this manual, you can see install the pen module for the H2D. But oh my, look at this. Install the cutting module h 2 S. And there we see that same front end that we saw in that one blurry leaked Twitter uh, or X photo that we saw a few months back or about a month ago. Um, it has the single wheel here. Um, actually, I'm going to I'm going to run back over here to Tom's hardware because they do talk about. There we go. So this is the this is the image that we saw before. We see that rotating wheel like we see in the A1, which leads us to believe this is going to be a smaller tool head, which should be great. We've got a larger build volume in the uh, Z axis, at least 340 instead of 320 or no, 325. So 15 millimeters higher. My guess is that is based on just having a smaller overall tool head. We've gained 15 millimeters in the Z axis. So we'll come back over here. So now, like I said, I think we are very, very certain that the next printer from Bamboo Lab will be the H2S. It is already in the documentation here. Um, so how about that? What do you think? Where is this printer going to land? Is this going to be a replacement for the X1 Carbon? Do you think they'll get rid of the X1 carbon or do you think it's going to fit in that place right in between, say, the X1 carbon 
and the H2D because the H2D currently, I believe, is 1999 without the AMS module. Um, let's take a look at. All right. So now obviously they have uh, I think they've got a bit of a sale going on, but the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon is 1369 right now. Um, and if we look at the H2D. Yeah, 1999. So 1400 dollars to 19 or 2000. So the I would guess that the H2S, so S being single, is probably going to fit price range right in there somewhere. So what do you think? Is this is this interesting to you at all? Is this what you're looking for? That slightly larger build volume? Um, pr I'm guessing also it will be a slightly faster machine. Uh, again, you've heard me say it in, in a lot of my videos, the tool head on the X or excuse me, on the H2D is just massive. It is a very big thing to move around. Um, it has speeds that are comparable to the X1 carbon and the P1S, uh, top speed of a thousand millimeters per second. I think the acceleration is actually less. It's 20,000 millimeters per second squared. Um, but that tool head is so big that in general, it's going to print slower. But with this H2S shrinking down that tool head, we're not going to have dual nozzles. We'll have a single nozzle. So I think we'll be able to get a little bit more speed. And then obviously, we're going to get a little bit more volume. So is this a printer that interests you? Please let me know down in the comments. What do you think? Um, is this too little, too late? If we uh, let me switch back here uh, to my desktop and if we go back to Tom's hardware, I noticed at the bottom um, of their page, things like this, Snapmaker. Snapmaker is building a tool changer. We already know that Bontech is building the uh, index system uh, that is going to be able to put to be put on many printers like the Vorons, et cetera. So is, is something like this a just a bigger volume, single nozzle, that's all you care about? You just want that build speed, you want that build volume, you want the speed, um, or are you interested in something that's going to be able to give you that multicolor filament uh, capability with an AMS uh, with reduced, um, or excuse me, yeah, multicolor capability but reduced or eliminated waste in your filament by do, using a single nozzle for each color. So again, please let me know down in the comments. I appreciate all the time we get to spend. Remember, I've got the A1 giveaway going on right now. If you have not taken a look at my H2D review, please go take a look at that video. There is a sign up link in the description there, and you're gonna have to watch the video for the secret code word so that you can potentially win an A1 Mini uh, from my channel. Uh, so go, there are some stipulations on where that is available. Uh, I can't ship this thing everywhere. It just, it's too expensive and I don't have the ability yet. But as the channel grows, hopefully the income increases and we can do uh, some more global contests. As always, I appreciate the time that we get to spend together here on the channel, and let's keep on learning, burning, printing, and growing together. Take care, everyone.